Hi, I'm Christopher Job. Welcome to our news channel All India News First Headline, What is Ailing the Nirbhay Cruise Missile Program? Now in the tale A commentator in a forum writes, There is undeclared opinion among missile scientists across the globe that before you fire a rocket, it is assumed to explode. Development of any missile is a super complex ordeal, adding radars, control surfaces, satellite receivers, radio controls, to essentially an exploding tube, it's not easy. It takes multiple tries to get it right. How right he is. Before one makes any judgment and declare the program as an abject failure there is one thing that need to be understood, that NERPE is the Indian counterpart of US Air Force's AIM-120 Imram which is an advanced air-to-air -air guided missile and like its American counterpart the NERPE involves several complex technologies. The development and deployment of such a sophisticated system requires a lot of hard work and some luck. Pakistan on the other hand has purchased a stock of ready-made KH-55 SM slash Kershine land attack cruise missile, LACM, from Ukraine and laughably calls it indigenous. The RAD another cruise missile in its armory is said to be of South African origin. It was also reported that some technology was reverse engineered from down Tomahawk cruise missiles and used in either of these missiles. Unlike a ballistic missile which is targeted as a projectile from a single launch force with not much added guidance, a cruise missile locates its target, or has a preset target, and navigates there. Cruise missiles have onboard guidance system and can follow preset paths to seek and terminate the target, including offset approaches. Different Strides DRDO may have come a long way in developing ballistic missiles like the Agni series, which have strike ranges from 700 km to over 8,000 km, but continues to flounder in the field of cruise missiles. Of course, it should be noted that the armed forces already have the superlative Brahmos supersonic cruise missiles. The NERP A, a stealth missile in the making for almost a decade now, was meant to fulfill the armed forces' demand for nuclear-tipped LACMS versatile enough to be fired from land, air and sea. The missile was said to be a counter to Pakistan's Babrilak. Failure Analysis Summary Nuclear-capable NERP Hay cruise missiles test fails for the fourth time on 21 December, 2016. This was the Subsanic missile's fourth test since March 2013, all of which have more or less flopped to achieve test parameters. The missile's first test in March 2013 had completely failed, the second one was dubbed a partial success in October 2014. Scientists had identified the problem in NERB Hay Cruise missile, which led to its malfunction during its first test flight in March 2013, and corrective design was implemented. Scientists had identified that the inertial navigation system had malfunctioned in corrective design. Modification has been implemented. Except for covering the full range by flying at all waypoints, all the objectives set for the cruise missile functionality was fully met. The missile had a perfect launch with the navigation systems correctly touching the first waypoint, deviation was observed while going to second waypoint. When the deviation extended the safety limit, mission abort command was issued from the ground and the destruction mechanism inside the missile was activated. The Anomaly Designed by Bangalore-based Aeronautical Development Establishment ADE, the missile was designed to fly at different altitudes ranging from 500 meters to 4 km. Launched in 2004 at a cost of Rs 48 crore, the projected date of completion for the prestigious project was December 31, 2016. However, under trial since 2013, the missile is yet to perform as expected after four attempts in the last four years. The project has been plagued with difficulties as the scientists are still struggling to fix the problems in the flight control software and navigation system while some others point fingers at the hardware. While the research center Emirat RCI, blamed a developed software, 
aide was pointing towards the defective hardware supplied by RCI. However, it cannot be ascertained at this point in which is defective, whether the software or hardware, but NERPA missile failed to take off on Wednesday as planned. There has been problems with the control software since beginning. The RCI had developed navigational hardware for their applications and it was adopted by AID for NERPA. There are always differences between AID and RCI regarding its functional efficacy. Such a heterogeneous structure involving different agencies without prior expertise in specific technologies is bound to throw up coordination issues. Also DRDO seems to have got carried away with its ballistic missile success. Defense experts have raised questions on the requirement of such a subsonic missile, which can cruise at a speed of only 0.8 Mach, when supersonic cruise missile BrahMos can fly at a speed exceeding Mach 3 and already been inducted into the armed forces. Within the adjoining the Missile Technology Control Regime, MTCR, BrahMos Aerospace has developed a long-range version of the world's deadliest cruise missile system. I guess it would take a concerted effort on the part of DRDO to bring about the much-needed cohesion between the various agencies involved in the development of this system and reverse this disaster into a success which India needs so badly. Thank you for watching the video please subscribe the channel now if not already. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.